He's already started, guys, and he's actually kind of adorable. Look at him. How do you end up being so ugly later? You're a sweet little thing. Look at you. Hey, guys. Welcome back to My Singing Monsters, Dawn of Fire. Now, I was an idiot, and I didn't actually touch this game since the last episode, so I don't have a ton of money. And because I don't have a ton of money, I can't upgrade my castle. I need $100,000, and I don't have it. So, I'm just gonna have to get myself a hotel. In the last episode, guys, we used up all 44 of our beds on this island. So, you know, obviously a hotel is gonna be a pretty good thing to have if we want to breed anything today. So, I'll pop down a hotel, okay? And we'll just put some monsters in it. Some monsters that we don't maybe care so much about. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep some of the good ones out here. First, guys, I might put Courtney in the hotel. Okay, Courtney's... Courtney's Courtney, okay? Goodbye, Courtney! Thank you! How many beds did you have? Wait, why did I get 10 bucks for that? Whatever, it's cool. Uh, now I have 42 instead of 44 beds. All right. Now, I don't really want to have to get rid of my ant brat because I really like them. Stefford, you're a cool guy, but you take up so many beds, you know what I'm saying? And I need the beds. Flamble, you ain't even doing that much. Well, yeah, I, I like the noise that you make on your symbol, but check into the hotel instead, okay? By the way, I haven't read any of the descriptions, guys. Like, why haven't I done that? t rocks pups are always stomping their feet, but it is never in a demanding way. They can become little craggy pants at times. Having shovels for feet can be annoying, making it difficult to wear fashionable footwear, for example. But they quickly return to their genial selves in no time. t rocks pups enjoy digging themselves into holes, planking, and belly rubs. Planking, huh? Yeah, planking's fun, if the year is 2010 or something. I don't even remember when planking happened, okay? I just assume everything happened in 2010. I want to get rid of this glowl, guys, because I, I'm, it's, it's just a glowl. But I'll, I'll read the description first, okay? And then we'll send it away. A glowl nestling isn't afraid of the dark. It glows! The tail feathers are so intensely pigmented, they continue to be luminous even when shed. Glowl plumes are highly prized as torches, and since these creatures molt only once in a lifetime, very rare. Very cool, Glowl. Now, would you get in the hotel? Thank you. Okay, that's enough for now, guys. Technically, we can get some new monsters, okay? I don't even know, like, what we need, okay? And apparently, like, all the monsters in this game go on one island, which is freaking crazy. Hey. You know what we don't have, guys? A fangler. We should get a fangler. That is... Water and fire. Water and fire. I mean, name something that goes together better. I'm being sarcastic. Cranford and Lavely sitting in a breeding tree. And here it is, y'all. Let's get that out of here. Come on, let's go. Hey, everybody, come on, let's go. Look at that, guys. He doesn't have any feet. Where are your feet? Oh. Okay, okay. You sound exactly like you do in MSM. Nothing wrong with that, okay? The Fangler is an okay monster. From abyssal depths emerges the astounding Fangler, sporting its own Photophor light show and kelp ribbon mic. This whiz kid is destined for stardom. It'll just have to learn to keep those groupers at bay. Maybe I should take a look at what they want me to do in the goals. Oh yeah, because I'm gonna get my pango to level 15. Yeah, just give me a minute. However, a quibble on Party Island would actually be kind of nice. Here you go, quibble. Here you- oh man, come on, really? I got one right here for you, don't even worry. There it is. Let's get you to level 5, huh? What are you- what is that? What are those? No, it's a new thing, please. New one. What do you mean- oh. Okay, whatever. I'll just go ahead and speed it up for one diamond, and here's a new wand. And you want- Okay. Okay, you're gonna be like that. Here, have a little bit of it. What are you- Okay. Let me get some coconuts, guys. This is a complicated game, okay? You gotta have a big brain, very high IQ to play it. Okay. There you go. That's the good stuff, huh? And now we can go ahead and uh, teleport you to Party Island. Okay. I'm gonna miss you, Gannett. I'm really gonna miss you. I, I mean it. I'm serious, okay? You're one of my favorite monsters in this game, so far. And it's an adult quibble! Everyone knows you have to be an adult to party, okay? There you go. This is already so much better, guys. I still don't like the way they look in this game, okay? The babies look just fine. 
but there's something weird about the adults. And I think it's just the fact that the style was a little bit different. Now I get my five diamonds. That, that's not a lot of diamonds at all, but thanks. Okay, two things that I wanna do, guys. I wanna get my T-Rox over here now, and I want to get a Yelmet. That's right, a Yelmet. You know, guys, now that I think about it, getting a monster to level five and then teleporting it away is a much better way to get rid of a monster than putting it in a hotel. I mean, obviously, if you put it in a hotel, you get it back again, but... I'm gonna need to get a T-Rox to Party Island eventually. I might as well just do it now. But don't ask for anything I don't have. Wait, don't I have that right there? Don't I have that like right behind you? There you go. Ha! Never mind. Ask away. Okay, we're doing it, guys. We're doing. Oh my God! You want coconut milk and apple juice? Okay, well go ahead and eat your slime, yo weirdo. And uh, then you can go ahead and leave. Don't worry, it's not that I don't want a T-Rox. I just don't want that T-Rox, okay? We're disowning that T-Rox. Cranford is level eight, guys. If we get Cranford to level 10, we can teleport Cranford to the, what's it called, island? Space Island, that's what it's called. We can teleport him to Space Island. That'd be kind of cool, right? Hey, what is this? What is what is that thing that unlocks at level 11? I'm almost at level 11. Like, I'm really, really close to level 11. You want something? I know I got the stuff that you want, so there you go. Oh, I'm so close, guys, so close. Danny Do, I got this for you. Boom, level 11. Oh, it, there it is. I don't know what that was about. Ice machine. No, I don't want ice. That's not a thing that I want. Tropical slime, yum. So let's take a look at the ice machine. I can't even afford it, what the heck? Never mind, no ice machine for me. I seriously am so confused about what that is, guys. I'm just gonna speed up a new want instead. Um, sure, you know what? Yeah, fine. Let me just send Shrimpy in there to get you some slime. Okay, there's a 100% chance I'm gonna get some slime for ya. Hey, one slime and an apple tart, guys, because because that's definitely what I wanted, an apple tart. Here you go. Boop. And more coconut milk for this guy. Well, oh, that was actually really good, but now they want me to get that stuff again. This scoop of white stuff. What is this scoop of white stuff? I don't even see that anywhere. Oh, it's sugar. Well, that's no problem. I'll get you some sugar. Don't worry about it. In typical match Shea fashion, guys, you can expect me to spend quite a bit of diamonds during this series just so i can speed things up so i can give you guys more content faster okay smash the like button if you're enjoying this series and you want me to keep it going we just got cranford to level 10 oh my god we need to go to party island first because our t-rox is an adult way to go buddy it looks super weird now okay it's, it's really like kind of jarring to see the adult version when you're used to seeing the baby version. Okay, look at that. Listen to him. Listen to him. Thousand bucks for me as well. Thank you, thank you. Okay, starting to sound better. Cool, cool, cool. What's this? What did I, oh yeah, the T-Rox, okay. That reminds me, it might be time to get that Yelmet I've been talking about. Okay, monsters, who's ready to say goodbye to Cranford? Goodbye, Cranford! Nobody liked you anyway, LOL. I'm just kidding, Cranford. You were you were fine. Okay. You were just you were acceptable. Now you're not. Now you just look weird. I'm sorry. Thank you, Dawn of Fire, for making me think that normal monsters look weird now because they're not babies. This is crazy. Whoa. 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 Why did you instantly give me so much money? Just for placing you, I guess. Mm. Mm. Do they have descriptions on these? Toe jammers are noted for their mathematical aptitude and an individual's counting ability is easily ascertained by the number of appendages it sports. It may reach as high as 10. Okay, I don't know why I thought that Yelmet was a five element monster. It's not, it's a four element. Air, plant, cold, fire. I can do that. Here's air plant. There you go, nag. And then we looking for cold fire. Where is our cold fire? Did I did I put that away? Or do I not even have it? It's a Boscus, guys. I gotta take my Boscus back out again. Here you go, Courtney. And now I need you to go ahead and breed with my little nag, okay. Thank you, Courtney, very cool. And now we make 
I don't want this dandy do. What the heck, man? Sell it. At least you get a little bit of money for it. I feel like that was the first time I got a fail out of the breeding, guys. Let me retry that again. What do you have this time? What? No, I don't want that! Oh, 24 hours for this one, guys. It must be! There it is! Oh my god, I don't have enough diamonds to speed it up. Back to the shop I- that's not the right- yeah, wait, no, yes, there. Back to the shop I go! I'll buy 420 diamonds, because 420 is a, is a funny number, okay? Yeah, yeah! I should probably just buy the biggest pack, because it's probably the best deal, but, uh... If I don't need all those diamonds today, I'll just do it this way. 96 diamonds, though, that's so many. You better be work. He's already started, guys, and he's actually kind of adorable. Look at him! How do you end up being so ugly later? You're a sweet little thing. Look at you. What do you want? I'm gonna feed you. My little sweetheart you are. We're best friends now. Do you know that? Ugh. Hey, yo, another cat for a match day video, guys. What a, what a blessed day it is. Indeed. You guys can't see this, but I'm petting a cat right now. Okay, and I'm gonna play MSM at the same time. Hey, and there's my reward for the young- Stop it! That's my microphone! I'm gonna- I gotta use that for speaking and stuff! Look at this little guy. Look at him. I'm a goofy cat. Such a goofy cat. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been manhandling my cats since they were kittens, so they really don't mind. People say you're not supposed to be able to, like, pet your cat's belly or it's gonna murder you, but my cat doesn't murder me. Listen, I- this is not- this is not what the video is about, okay? Go away. The Yelmet has fondness for a great many things. Topmost is its yodeling prowess, though its decorative headgear is a close second. Please don't call it a hat. It's a very touchy subject. <laughs> Okay. I bet the Wallaby is real adorable. Let's try and get a Wallaby. And guys, the good news is a Wallaby is a three element, so it shouldn't cost me as many diamonds or beds. Air, cold, fire. You got it. Here's an air, cold. Gaston, you're gonna make a baby, Gaston! As soon as I get a lavalier in here, boom. Pow, there you go. What are we making? Something that's, oh, that's gotta be it, guys. There it is, a Wallaby! It's okay. It actually looks surprisingly, uh, I want to say surprisingly similar, but I, I feel like that sounds dumb because of the fact that, of course, it looks similar. It's the same monster, but a baby. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't look that different. What am I going to do with all of you anyway, guys? I'm going to have to probably clear out some space up here and start another place. That way we can have monsters we really like in one place and put the monsters we don't really like in another place, and you just... just go away and you barely even mail to hear him you know it's a good little setup this could be this could be good listen to that oh god now yelman is getting on my nerves again guys okay i like that i like that it's really nice actually really nice you want an apple agnes agnes the apple eater <laughs> classic aggie am i right guys how about this we will get a barb okay because we have we have a flower over here and I bet you he'd love to have a girlfriend, even though there are no genders in this game. He would love to have a significant other. Barb, that's gonna be air, plant, fire. We got an air plant, right? No! Stop it! Air plant, fire, okay, dandy do and lavalie. Well, whatever, a nag and lavalie, there you go. Let's give it a shot. Here goes nothing. That's what we wanted, y'all! Oh, snap! Okay. Oh, look at her, she's so cute! Barb! This is great! Any second now, guys. Any second. It's... She's pretty much exactly the same as she is in MSM. I'm not incredibly surprised, to be honest. Let's read a couple descriptions, though, guys. I haven't read enough descriptions. Even as seedlings, barbs are a teensy bit prickly. What with their burrs and thorns, yet for all their surface thistles, they remain soft, sappy souls that feel emotions all the way down to their roots. A barb song is a scratchy, catchy, and is <laughs> is a scratchy, catchy? Okay. Oh, a scratchy, catchy one. Now it makes sense. And is sung with wisdom far beyond its tender years. Barbs are prone to hiccups and fits of the giggles, often at the same time. <laughs> 
That sounds like me. I like every time I like cough or something, I end up hiccuping instead. Young thrumbles begin humming and thrumming as a form of self-comfort. They quickly learn to hone their vocal ability and become popular amongst uh, the monster youngsters by using their stretchy necks to scout for new places to play. Really? Okay. Well, clearly guys, what I really want to know is what's the deal with Fat Pango? So let's find out. Like Hot Coco, Ear flap hats and woolen onesies. Roly poly pango is a heartwarming sight on a bone chilling day. Though it flaps its limbs and strains its neck to fly, a pango hatchling remains hopelessly flightless and must take comfort in the gentle resonance of its own castanet like chattering. Its beak is perpetually runny and remains so due to its inability to reach it with its teensy wings. How sad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do one more, guys. Uh, I have a big list here. How about a Bogart? Bogart could be pretty cute, right? Plant, water, cold. Can we do it? Yes. Eat, no. No. There it is. We did it, guys. Huh. And not a lot of diamonds to spare, I'll tell you that. Oh, look at him! Little Bogart. Okay, get you down here, okay? Don't know where to put these guys. Look at him! Chelby! Just cello, I suppose. Great. Nope. Wow, okay. It's beautiful, dude. It's beautiful. Good job, little guy. Oh! That's so good! Why is it so good? Clearly, the Bogart kid is outsized by its instrument. Until it can grow full horns, it'll have to make do with hand-me-downs. It's a good thing a Bogart grows two horns. A youngster's first attempt at making an instrument is not always successful. Oh, I get what you're saying. Because he turns his horn into an instrument. Wow, very cool, Bogart. Very cool. All right, well, guys, we made some progress today. We got some new monsters. We teleported some new monsters. I got a... a, a uh, no, I didn't, because I couldn't afford it, but now I can, so I guess I'll just go ahead and get it so I can say I got it. The ice machine. There you go. Just pop that down there. Wow! Okay, now I can say, hey, guys, we got some new monsters. We teleported some monsters. We got ourselves a new structure that makes ice. I mean, how crazy is that? It was a successful video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and consider watching this video next, because I think you'll like it 